Hello fellow Rosarians, thank you for joining me today. A lot of you have asked me how to train your climbers. And so there's three things that you can do. You can peg them down where you just get landscape ties and as the canes are growing, just take those canes and secure them to the ground that they'll be making an arch. And you can certainly shape them that way. That's the easiest, quickest thing to do uh, in a pinch. Next, you can get an obelisque. And I think I've done a video on training to the obelisk, but I know that it was in my January monthly video that that's something that I typically take care of in January when things are slow and I'm looking for something to do. Um, or this is your third option. You can train them into spheres. And I'm really a fangirl of Niff Barnes and I've shared that with you before. She does amazing sculptures. Sorry, I'm, the, <laughs> the sun is making me uh, cry a little bit. Um, but she does amazing sculptures. And so last year I was inspired by spheres. And so we started the Peggy's out and we established that initial shape. And they grow somewhere between 10 and 20 feet a year for me in zone eight. So this year, what I've done now that I have my spheres is I'm gonna be attaching them, I think, into one long sphere across the waterfront. I'm really excited. This is a fun project to do. Um, and the key is just to make sure that everywhere that you're tying, and you can see my white ties. I, I left that so that you could see it. Um, but everywhere that the canes would um, be rubbing against each other and they connect, you're going to put a tie to secure it. So this entire rose is now, you know, attached to each other. And when you get to that point, you can actually take your supports out. So this rose doesn't have any supports other than what's behind because I'm actually pulling the rose forward away from this line of roses that I have. And I'll peek down here to the left. Hopefully you can see it. Um, but you can see that I have now, um, I'm training uh, the roses across the entire waterfront. And I anticipate, hopefully by the end of the summer, those will be connected. So I wanna take you down to that side today so that you can watch me uh, train Peggy. I think it's about a project for an hour. If you can't do it all in one sitting, then you can certainly do 20 minute increments. It's not something that you have to do all in one swoop. So let's go down there and start working on her. So what I'm using down here, I do keep my pruner so that I can cut off any branches that um, I decide don't need to be here. I love this and this um, holds my string for me. So I love using that as a time saver. So I've put my pools here, you know I like those to kind of <laughs> make it so that you can see I've got a lot of roses back there. All right, so the first thing that you wanna do when you are taming a climber is I want you to look for, before we even touch anything, you are looking for anything that is smaller than a pencil. Um, those laterals, because this is such a vigorous rose, this is gonna grow back quickly. But if you're looking and you see this, you know, something that's only about six inches long, the laterals, go ahead and pull all of those off because they're gonna grow back and it's not something that we need to tie it right now. If we look in the inside of the rose, everything that might be branching off from the inside that's small, go ahead and get rid of those because that will allow your mind to see a little bit more about what needs to come off. And so that's what I like to do first. So everywhere on the cane that you see, do you see these little nubbins here? Let's say, where is it? this nubbin here, anything like that, a growth is going to come there. So as you're trying to uh, uh, cut these back, uh, you don't need to hyper focus on them, trust me. They're gonna grow back from where you can cut them, but there are little nodules or nodes that go all the way to uh, the cane itself. Uh, I'm going to just place four um, supports in a square, um, kind of at the perimeter of where I would like for this to be, uh, just to help me as I get the project started. Okay, all right, so I have my four supports here. And then once I do that, what you're looking for are any, um, any of the lateral canes that are smaller than um, six inches, anything that you want to tie, we're gonna go ahead and just cut those off with our scissors. Clearing a lot of this extra will just allow you to be able to think a little bit more. 
the wind and waves got to be too much, so I am going to uh, talk you now through uh, this video, and I'm going to watch it with you at the same time and see if I can make sense of what I'm doing. <laughs> so let's see, we are uh, tying things down, and we are initially going to tie them to the green stake, just the first six or so canes, and after that, each cane will be tied to canes versus the supports so that we can eventually remove those supports. I'm going through and cutting all of the laterals. And each time you work with one cane, you wanna work with it all the way to completion, that entire cane tying it down to um, either the itself or to the supports. And with each of those tie downs, something else is gonna present itself to you that needs to be addressed, whether it is a lateral or you're going to be looking inside the rows as you're making that shape and thinking about what is not going to be easy to, um, to prune back or cut once the structure is uh, filled out with leaves and blooms. And so I cut all of the inner, um, lateral canes that will be on the inside of that sphere, I cut those really about an inch or so from the main cane. So as we're watching now, I'm just taking each, uh, each selection that I make to work with a cane, it'll be the biggest cane thickness that I see to work with. Of course, we're gonna address any dead, disease, damaged. Now I'm bringing the cane across the front to try to make uh, more of that base structure. Um, so you'll see the sphere coming together here as we work along. In that case, I realized that cane, although it was a nice cane and thick, I just couldn't use it. It wasn't something, either it was too thick to be able to bend, or it just, it just wasn't going to move into the shape that I wanted. And you can see that I have more than enough canes here to work with. So in the event that I wanna completely trim out one cane down to the base, that won't be a problem. Now, if you're seeing me use my scissors, some of the, uh, the canes were just too small. Uh, and if you can use your scissors to cut them, take it off of the rose right then and give it the opportunity to, to push out some thicker canes for you in the spring. So uh, I'm not worried right now about sanitizing with each cut because I'm gonna come back at the end and use neem spray oil um, at the beginning of the season when I am cutting back all of my roses for the spring prune, and that will suppress any fungus or black spot that are on the, uh, the roses. So now I'm making like a little swoop here. Um, so they don't have to be completely straight, you can start making designs with the canes because they're really flexible and limber. And so now I'm going back into the center of the shrub to clean out some things. And so you're gonna find that you just keep on going back and forth. You tie a cane and then you'll see some other things present itself on the inside that you don't need or they're placed wrong and they're eventually gonna end up crossing in the future. And so just keep on cutting back. And here's my neighbor's dog coming to visit. I do not have time. <laughs> I'm focused on getting the rose trimmed. Now I use uh, white string because that's what I have. Um, you should probably consider getting green uh, just so it blends in uh, as you're tying yours. But I have white and I also want to be able to show you uh, what I'm doing and so it shows up really well on the camera. So I haven't switched over to green. 
every single place that the rose canes connect or touch, we wanna make sure that we are tying those together uh, for support and so that wind will not allow the canes to rub together. They will stay in place and not move the entire season. String will break down. And so next season, you're probably going to have to come back, even if you like the shape of it and you just merely want to cut off the laterals that have grown, you might have to secure some of the ties again just because of the nature of string breaking down. Yep, let me go ahead and clean some weeds underneath the rows <laughs> that are bothering me. I can also see I've got daylilies that are growing really close to um, the rows and I'm going to have to dig those out. And about this time uh, that I'm taking the video, I'm starting to get a little bit stressed because you can see the lighting is changing. I'm running out of light. And I would say that I've already been working on this for about an hour. And, and, and I knew I wanted to finish it for you guys. As you're securing the canes, you're going to be looking for placement that will fill the holes of the structure, just so that as the laterals are growing and giving you blooms, you won't be able to see through the sphere as well. So you can see that I'm kind of trying to place the canes um, so that they are um, in between um, all of the open spaces of the rows. Now I have saved some of the uh, lateral canes that you'll see here are a little bit thinner, but I decided just to tie them down and give them the opportunity to thicken up during the season because they were already uh, fairly long. I would say it look like, looks like they're about 18 to 24 inches long. So I wanted to use those. Now I am, I have, I'm removing the, um, the canes now, the support canes. I don't need those uh, for, it looks like two of them have been removed. Okay, so we've got another angle over at this side now, and I'm gonna take out the pools in a second. And so then you can see I worked until it was completely dark. <laughs> I still wasn't done, but I was intent on finishing it. Pain that you can still see needs to be secured. I've taken care of that since the video. I really hope that this helps and it gives you the confidence to be able to have fun. Get out there with your climbers, make whatever shape your heart desires, and just know that nothing is permanent that in you know throughout the season if you decide that you want to change some things move some canes around you can do that too so thanks so much for watching rosebuds i'll see you in the next video